guys, hey everyone, welcome back. So we are gonna be doing a full in-depth tutorial exactly how I'm going to be mapping out for this specific set. So if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how to map to your client's eye shape, then just keep on watching. So first things first that we're going to go ahead and determine is brow bone structure and exactly where that iris lays. So for her brow bones, as you guys can see, we have a lot more of a higher arch, more towards her ear. Normally a lot of people have it right where the iris is at, but for almond eyes, I've noticed that the brow bone structure really accentuates out here, giving her eyes already that natural cat eye. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and map out exactly where her eye actually starts. So as you can see here, where the color starts is about here. And I usually like to keep the lashes very short where the iris lies, especially if I'm doing an almond eye. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and map out first where, I'm so sorry, right there where her iris is lying. You can go ahead and close for me. So I can make it a little darker. There we go. Go ahead and open. And as you guys can see there, oh, you guys can't really see. Go ahead and close. Perfect. All right, so that's gonna be our first point. We are mapping out exactly where our iris is lying. So go ahead and I'm gonna have you turn your head just ever so slightly right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing too is that when you're mapping out one eye, you want them to directly stare at something so that you're actually getting the visual point. So if you're gonna take pictures of them, you want to have your camera or have them stare exactly where they're gonna be looking at in your camera. So for example, she started off here because when the face does move, the iris moves as well. So exactly center point out, making sure that her head is directly facing towards wherever you're gonna be looking at. Normally people are gonna be looking at you head on, so that's typically where I'll just keep the face. So as you guys can see, I did turn her face a little bit just to make sure that we are our perfect point. So we are, go ahead and open real quick. Okay, and close, beautiful, open one more time. Again, seeing, so as you guys can see, I'm a little bit off center on this one, but eyes are sisters, they're not twins. So please keep that in mind, that you wanna make sure you're following both the eye shapes. If somebody has a lazy eye, that can be a completely different tutorial that we can definitely go over, but we're gonna go specifically based off of this client's eye. Again, so go ahead and open one more time. Point is actually here <clears throat> and then my next point I'm gonna go ahead and see where I want the cat eye to start so you're basically just following these outer points so as you can see here her natural lashes naturally swoop out towards her outer corner already giving her that cat eye so we just really want to accentuate that a little bit more so I want my outer corner lashes to kind of stop or start right about here so our longest lengths need to come out right here and then center point so we also need to make sure that we come right about here so we're starting off with inner corner and then following and we're going to come back out i'll definitely go through mapping more in a little bit but this is just to show how i'm going to map on my client's eye so that i can follow it on my my ipad or my tape so same thing right about there I'm worried about there. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Go ahead and close. Open a little bit. And close. I'll go ahead and get rid of that. It's okay. It's just don't poke your client. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more time. Go ahead and open for me. Right about here. Okay. 
All right, so now that we have our dots on our client's eye, another reason why I like to do this is, go ahead and close. If we were to go ahead and tape our client and for whatever reason we have to move the skin up or down, we are not losing our points because they're already on our client's eye. I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and tape her up and then I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly how I'm gonna map on our tape. So go ahead and close. I'm taking another piece and go ahead and open and close and close. So now that we have gotten the eyes all nice and taped up, we're gonna go ahead and follow our points that we made on our client's eye and follow them on the tape. So I'm gonna head and move it this down just a little. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start off with my center point because I always do. So right about here, make our line. One, one more time, open for me. And then follow my pin. Yeah, close. Okay. I'm about there, so. Yeah, that's pretty even. Again, following our next one, so our outer corner lashes need to come out here. And come out there. Following our second dot. And I want you guys to see too that I'm not just making a, a, direct, a direct straight line because that's not exactly how the eye is flowing. So I'm literally going at the angle that I'm making my dots. So if again, if I'm in the inner corner, I need to go at this 45 center. I can come 90 again at the outer corner. We're going at that 45 so that we keep the lash direction symmetrical when we're going ahead and we're mapping. All right, so those are our points. So I know normally people would go ahead and break this up into a bunch of different map, or <clears throat> sorry, people would break this up into a bunch of different lies, like they would separate out the middle, separate out the outer corner. That's not what I'm doing here because I'm going to go ahead and jump map, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump sizes. The reason being is because I really want that outer corner to stand out. So another thing we have to take in consideration is the lid space. She doesn't really have a lot of lid space. She's got these really pretty, they're not hooded eyes, but her eyes definitely come out a little bit more where her skin lies. It's not as deep set. It kind of protrudes out a little bit. So you also want to make sure that you're picking the right curl for this specific client. So for me personally, I want to play with C and CC curl. I want to play with C curl right here towards her inner and then where her outer corner is to really accentuate that cat eye, I'm gonna use a CC curl because that's what's gonna stand out more. Go ahead and open your eyes for me. If I were to go ahead and use a CC or a D curl on this particular client, do you see how we don't have much of the lid space? We have a lot of brow bone space over here we don't have a lot towards the inner corner. So you don't wanna take away from that. If your client, how, however, had like a lot more lid space, let's say the eyebrows came up, they had more space between the iris and the brow bone or the brows, you would go ahead and use longer lengths. But again, since we don't have that much lid space right here, we're gonna go a little bit shorter. So go ahead and close for me. So first things first, I'm gonna start off by using my longest point. And if I'm gonna do a cat eye, I want the longest length that I can go, but without compromising my client's natural lashes. So I'm looking at her lashes and it looks like all of them are at a 12 millimeter length. And the way you can determine that is if you're a new, if you're a newbie, you just go ahead and grab a length, whether you think their lashes are 13 millimeters, 12 or 11, you just wanna hold it up against their lashes and determine the length there. I've been doing this for so long that I just already automatically know what length that they're at. So I'm gonna say it's about a 12. So the rule of thumb is never go two to three times the length and two to three times the thickness. So if I'm assuming she's 12, the highest that I'm gonna go up to is 15. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Outer corners are gonna be 15s. 
and then I'm gonna jump down two to three sizes. It's gonna make it a lot more dramatic. We're obviously playing with curl too, because we're gonna use that CC curl in our outer corner. I might change my mind and stick to C, but right now the Envision is using a CC curl. What I love to do on especially new clients is go ahead and put that curl wherever I feel that I want it. Take a look at it with a bottom mirror. So you're just gonna use like a regular little handheld mirror or a lash mirror and see if you like that curl. That's the beauty of doing lashes is trial and error and seeing which curls and lengths best suit your client. Especially when she opens her eyes and the set is done, I will be able to determine if I like that curl or if I wanna tone it down or maybe next time we're gonna use an even curlier curl on her. But for now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with that 15cc, but I might just drop it back down to the 15c. We'll see. So. Now that we have our longest length, we can jump down even more. So I know for a fact, I wanna keep that inner corner super short. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. So for sure, I'm gonna use my eights. And I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and jump up to nine. I still wanna keep it nice and short. We'll come in at tens. Then we're gonna jump up. So 15, the, the smallest length that I can do is a 13. However, since we're using that CC curl, I don't wanna go too dramatic. And even if I do end up using the C curl, I want it to be cohesive. So I'm gonna stick with, let's do, I'm gonna do 12. I'm also gonna do right where this point lies. I'm gonna put a little bit of 11s. So now you're gonna see that it's really gonna flow. So if I don't end up using the 15 CC curl, I will jump down to, I will jump up 13 here. The reason being is because it's gonna be way too big of a gap. However, since we are using a CC curl, the curls are gonna be different. So a C curl, typically will appear longer than a fifth. So if you have a 15 C curl and a 15 CC curl, if you hold them side by side, that CC curl is gonna look like a 14 mm. I don't know if that makes sense. Just, just you'll see, just roll with me here. Okay, so we have the 15 CC. So since in reality, next to the C curl, it's gonna look like a 14 millimeters. So I'm not too worried about having that big drastic jump, okay? Again, we're keeping all these links here at a C curl, and then we are gonna use a CC curl in our outer corner. It's really gonna help that outer corner flick to really stand out, really give that beautiful cat eye that we're going for, okay? I'm also, since our inner corners are a lot lighter, we wanna make sure that we're using a little bit of open fans, and then we're gonna mix open and closed fans within the middle section, and then we're gonna mix open and closed fans in our outer corner. Mainly spikes at our top layer, and then for our bottom layer, we're gonna do super closed, almost pixie fans. That's how we're gonna go ahead and create the set. That's pretty much how you go ahead and map out for your client's eye structure. You're literally just following their facial structures and enhancing their facial features. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what other educational videos you guys would like me to bring. Go ahead and stay tuned for the after shot so I can show you guys exactly how this set came out. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.